probably best to start the review with the wrapper off but at least it shows you that uh, this is the first time I've hit this uh, putter let's see how it goes I mean too much fast too much to ask for that to have gone in but interesting first roll off the face I must say let's start this video with this statement I love as an average golfer I love the word forgiveness I want forgiveness on my driver I want forgiveness on my irons I want all the forgiveness a golf course is prepared to give me and Callaway claim there's plenty of forgiveness now in this putter Look at the new range of putters from Callaway, and uh, I've got in my hands what's called the Stroke Lab 10. There is also a Bird of Prey option. Uh, two new putters, they've both got the Stroke Lab shaft in them, which is an interesting shaft that I looked at earlier on this year. Let's talk about the shaft first of all. The shaft has been made 40% lighter than normal, and that weight distributed both to head and also into the grip as well. To say what Callaway is saying, to encourage a better swing tempo and improve your putting overall. I actually like that story and to be honest with you, I've used these uh, shafts in other putters of Callaway's earlier on this year and I think that was a, a fair enough claim to be, to be honest with you. Could be in. Oh, hello. Um, that wasn't an easy putt either. The next thing I want to talk about is these uh, micro hinge inserts um, that we, again, we've seen before from Odyssey in their recent putter releases, probably over the last two years. This is uh, a slight change to that setup and um, it produces a much softer feel. So I've now uh, had a good few putts with this off camera and it's very noticeable. Um, it certainly gets that ball rolling on a forward momentum, which I like. But it is soft it's very very different and uh, very soft and but also responsive back into the hands and uh, i'm gonna have a few more puts with it before i pass my uh, sort of final judgment on it but i must admit it is noticeably different and i'm pretty i think i like it if i keep holding them i like it even more Well, it was a line I picked and it went off on it. And I think that's uh, the next thing I want to talk about really is the looks and uh, from top and bottom. I think it's fair to say it's got a bit of a familiar look about it. There's been enough comments already made without me adding to that. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's familiar. But the things that they've done to it, in terms of from the top at least, uh, first of all, it sits with the neck that I've got, it sits really nice behind the ball. I've got to say as soon as... There's no moving of my hands whatsoever. I sit that uh, club head behind ball and it feels extremely comfortable. So I love the way it sits at a dress. Um, the, the big, bold white line is an interesting addition. And again, I've commented on that on, uh, on another putter that I've used. Uh, I think it's a great alignment aid. Uh, they've gone away from these thinner lines and I think it's, uh, it's very bold, it's very strong and it's very easy to align. And I've got to say again, with the putts that I've hit so far out on the course, the line I've chose, I've been able to set the ball off on it. So that's at least one thing and a, and a big uh, bonus. From the underneath, again, there's some weighting systems um, at both um, the back ends of this, if you like, which add to that uh, super high uh, MOI, as they call it, which is ultimately all about this forgiveness and stability in the club head. But I think it's a stunning piece of kit in terms of looks. Um, yeah, it ticks every box. And from the important bit, when it's behind the ball, it breeds a fair bit of confidence, bold alignment aid. You got no excuses when you uh, when you miss one. On yours. Mm -hmm. 
So I think it's uh, assessment time. Like I said, uh, putter reviews can never be that exciting, but I've got to say it's been really impressive, this putter. Uh, the one thing I'll say, first of all, having played nine holes with it, is the white insert, these new micro hinges. I've gone from not sure about the feel to absolutely loving the feel. It's got, uh, like I said, it's very responsive. It's very good to gauge distances, and very soon you adapt quickly to knowing how that ball's going to come off the face in terms of being able to uh, uh, allow for the, the speed of that roll. It's very stable. As I've mentioned on the previous clips, very easy to square up. Love the bold white alignment line. It's 269 quid is the RRP. It's a lot of money, uh, as everything is at the moment in terms of golf products. I title this video, is this the best putter I've ever tested? Well, let me tell you this. Whether it's the best or not, it's debatable. It's certainly right up there with the very best. It's appearing in the bag of a lot of tall players. I can understand why. And I think it would suit a lot of average golfers. A lot of money, top, top product, and quite possibly the best putter I've tested since I've been doing this channel.